Hey, my darlings, my name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I'm going to do your daily mini reading for you. I'm using my Sacred Traveller Oracle uh, cards for you this evening uh, and we'll see what comes out for you. Um, before I start, I just wanted to say I'm going to be doing the daily mini reading six days a week, not seven. So I am going to be looking forward uh, going forward to just not doing readings on Sunday. Uh, so uh, hence why I wasn't around tomorrow. They're flying out the cards already for you. Um, if the reading resonates, obviously it is um, messages that you are remembering in divine timing for you. Your soul is remembering. If the reading doesn't resonate, my darling, it simply means it wasn't for you at this time. That's always a reading out there for you at exactly the right time as guided by spirit. Uh, as ever, thank you for all of your wonderful comments and your likes and your subscribes. I am so very grateful. It's a beautiful exchange of energy. And if you would like a personal reading with me, all of the details are in the description box below. I do have my doggies with me. Oh, and the cards have already come out for you. So uh, let's move ahead with the reading and let's see uh, what's come out for you. So we have rejuvenating rain. Uh, clear the past, heal the present. And then we have on the bottom of the deck, fellow travellers, support is all around you. So let's put that deck away and let me show you what's come out. So this is fellow travellers. This is on the bottom of the deck. Support is all around you. And then we have rejuvenating rain, clear the past and heal the present. So I want to talk, uh, as you know, uh, first of all, about the overriding energy, which is fellow travellers. It's interesting, this word traveller, isn't it? This is the sacred traveller oracle deck. Uh, let me just show you this card again. Um, traveller is... Um, <laughs> Traveller, when you travel, you're sort of accommodating what is happening. You're sort of being taken. You know, you, you have to, if you're traveling in a car or traveling in an airplane, you have to take the car or the airplane to get from A to B or the train. So you are, you're yielding, you're surrendering to what is there, what is available. And that's a little bit like a traveller in the spiritual sense is sort of yielding to the spiritual force of the universe and also trusting that you know strange coincidences are actually um as i called it the other day spirit called it the other day co-creating incidents and um and i understand i think it's the muslim i think it's the the sufi uh kind of um explanation of it is that what it means to be a traveler is to move through the physical world with that intention to seek, to seek knowledge, to uh, seek and understand our personal development. So that's the word traveler. So when you have a, a, a fellow traveler, let me show you this again. When you have a fellow travelers that are there to support you at this time, these are people who you recognize as sort of soul family, soul tribe. They could be your partner. They could be your friends. They could be somebody you've only just met, but you have an instant connection. They could be a companion, um, somebody you respect. But these are fellow travelers. They're on the same uh, journey as you uh, and the journey and remember is not about the destination it's about the actual extraordinary journey that we're on their soul family for you now what's really interesting about this card is that um, alongside the rejuvenating rain and clear the past heal the present is that you have your soul has caused and created these fellow travelers to be with you at this time because there are certain messages for you from the universe, from God, from spirit, whatever you want to call it. And they are messages for you to help you at this time remember um, remember what you already know, remember that divine wisdom at this time, have that aha moment. Um, and you've got, and some, and I feel as well that you're on a little bit of a magical mystery tour when you trust and see it. You see here this sort of very magical person here who's traveling. So things might seem a little strange for you at this time, despite uh, what you may be also feeling, which I feel is something that is you are releasing at this time. But there's a lot of magic that's happening for you at this time, represented here by the rainbow 
represented by hopes, by blessings, um, by those coincidences, those co-creating -co incidences that you're doing with spirit. And you've got here this, this white peacock and the white peacock kind of represents the purity of your soul, the purity of your intent. It's about um, white is pure, white is uh, that sort of brilliant uh, clearness and clarity. So you are on this journey seeing things not as uh, you are, if you understand what I mean, but you're seeing through things. So you're not allowing, you're, you're sort of saying no to your ego pain body that uh, stopping you from perceiving things actually as they truly are. So you are having a different perspective on things. You are seeing things from the universe's eyes. You're seeing things from your soul's eyes. And it's because things now seem much more illuminating because there are moments where you feel uh, fearless and you're not having the same anxiety that you've had before and this is really really beautiful and the and the main peacock um the wonderful peacock this is uh i think it's my one of my judgment one of my awakening cards in another deck it's it's about i'm sorry nut is chewing on her basket um uh the peacock is about releasing um, things from your past and you've got this other card clear the past it's about releasing things from your past it's about shedding those feathers and it's about coming into the full beauty of who you are um, and so this is part of this journey that you're on at this time and um, I'm, my eyes are glancing towards the oranges so the oranges in this card are in sort of full um, they're fully sort of formed there I can't think of the word spirit but the oranges have come into fruit thank you spirit and so this is talking about this is a season of a huge amount of growth for you and things starting to come into your reality things blossoming that you kind of set the seeds a very long time ago with what you wanted to happen. Orange is sac the sacral chakra, and the sacral chakra is about the emotions that you're feeling at this time. It's about the desire that you're feeling at this time. It's about the enthusiasm that you're feeling at this time. It is about your sacral purpose, your soul's purpose. And sp spirit is saying, just trust and believe that everything that you are experiencing at this time is as it should be so, you are creating this, this magic for you and have confidence um, and have confidence at this time, have enthusiasm at this time. You are embracing the independent spirit of you uh, and you are not scared of doing things on your own. I mean, I think this is really, really beautiful. And, you know, oranges, the, the sacral chakra about what you deserve as well and about the fact that you're now sort of calling it in and support you know support is about people that as I said are coming in to give you messages at exactly the right time for you to give you a helping hand to say the right words uh, to offer the right support to be there to listen to understand not just to reply so don't turn that support away um, because the support is necessary at this time. And one of the things that is a very difficult thing for all of us to do is to be able to receive. So if it, if it is given, if it is offered, please receive it, because it is showing that you also deserve that and that you also are aware of the beautiful synchronicity of it all as well. So that's the fellow travellers card, which is really, really rather lovely. And then you've got this rejuvenating rain. And actually, I want to show you. So you've got this card here, and then you've got the fellow travellers here. And you can see this card's quite hot. <laughs> There's not a lot of rain going on, although rainbows do appear just as the rain when it's sort of sunny and rainy. So these cards are going beautifully together. So with this card here, rejuvenating rain. So after a, a sort of dry period, a period where there could be um, you're feeling a bit hot under the collar and there could have been things that you feel that are not growing properly. There is now this period of rain that's coming and rain has so many different wonderful meanings that it is it is a, a chance for things to grow, a chance for things to thrive. It is to revitalize things. 
it is to nurture, uh, it is refreshing as well, isn't it? So, um, and rain is necessary. Um, and so what Spirit is saying at this time with this rejuvenating rain, to rejuvenate something is to relook at it, to re-care for it. So Spirit is saying, um, it's a priority for you right now, just like rain is a priority when it's been hot and dry for a while, for you to self-care, for you to make yourself a priority at the moment. If you are very much caught up with your attention on other things, spirit wants you to come back and to refocus and re-energize yourself, whatever rest that means. Do a bit of physical and emotional decluttering at this time. Um, and with this clear the past and heal the present, you know, clearing the past, if you are crying and you're upset at this time about a lot of things, do remember, and I've said this before in other readings, that crying is the most extraordinary thing, why the soul must weep, because crying is uh, the releasing of energy from you. Energy is, emotions are energy emotion, and it is the um, release of those emotions um, that it's the sort of vibrational relationship between where you are now and where you're willing to go and where you're willing to go actually on a soul level is on this mis magical mystery ride um and and stepping out with more confidence and stepping out with more awareness of that you are causing and creating so this is a time with the clearing of the past and it says heal the present as well and i'm going to come to that in a second but of the clearing of a past, there is some stuck energy uh, that is there with you. And so whatever releasing you're, you're doing at this time, continue to do it. Continue to look at the past as it was all meant to happen. It was all meant to happen. And what have I received from it? What hidden gifts have been in those experiences that I have gone through? Be in touch with your emotions. Feel them. Put out that question. And then don't be in a rush to receive the answer. Let it come to you in divine timing. It will come to you at exactly the right time for you to comprehend and understand it. It's a little bit like sometimes when we read a book um, and parts of it may make sense to us. Let's say we're reading something that's effectively not a novel. It could be a novel and we're reading it and it kind of sort of appeals to us, but it doesn't quite. And then maybe a little while later, could be a month, two months, a year, whatever, we re-see it. And in that moment, we see things. It's almost like rereading something, isn't it? We see things or we understand things that we didn't get the first time around. So trust in the divine timing of the answers coming back to you as well. There is no rush with this. She's very gently sitting there, do you see? And she's she's the rain is coming and there's a waterfall which talks about the flow, the vibrational flow of life and things coming towards you emotionally. You may feel slightly overwhelmed, but you're being told there's nothing that you can't handle as long as you respect the feelings as they come in. Now it's about to destroy that cushion and she thinks I'm not noticing. <laughs> um she's very happy but those are my one of my favorite cushions <laughs> so, um and remember that the tears if they are tears for you at the moment or the release that you're doing we need the rain we need the rain to rejuvenate to thrive to grow um and there's also because of this fellow travelers and being on this journey you know rain you know when it rains we have really heavy rain like we've had today in England it feels very fresh afterwards so what spirit is saying to me with that word fresh is this is an opportunity for a fresh new start for you or, or, or is it an opportunity for you to do something slightly differently if things haven't been um, working out the way that you've been doing them over and over again maybe it's an opportunity for you to start afresh um, you know, with determination and with an openness that maybe you may want to try a different approach at something. And rain also comes very suddenly, doesn't it? It can be beautiful one moment and then let's say in the monsoon reasons, monsoon season, suddenly the rain just comes down. So it is also a reminder for us always that nothing is fixed in stone, nothing is certain. Um, everything is constantly changing. The rain comes when there is a buildup of energetic pressure and the rain comes. And so um, 
I'm not a geologist, I hope that's right, but it's that sort of thunderstorm thing that I was thinking of. Um, so allow this rain rep can represent a lot of change that's happening for you at this time. And because it is about healing the present, it's about forgiving the present for what it is right now. It's interesting, isn't it? It's not forgiving necessarily a person, but it is about accepting and forgiving the present. Because if we forgive the present now for what it is, even though we don't understand it, we don't have to then forgive it in the future. We can say, do you know what? I'm accepting this present. I'm meant to be here right now. There are things I may not quite understand, but I've put the word out to spirit that actually I'd like to understand why this is happening for me and what I meant to receive from this. And I am grateful for it and I'm embracing it. Um, and therefore you're healing the present. You're coming to terms with, you're accepting the present. You're having radical acceptance of the present. And spirit wants you within this space of this acceptance to do some soul searching, darling, to do some soul searching for, as you, as you can see here in this card, uh, she is in touch and touching this rain, touching these emotions, in touch with what is being released. Do the soul searching for what are the soul gifts that are happening for you right now. Don't ignore those emotions that you're feeling, remembering that emotions are energy in motion, and that's the vibration that's happening at the moment. And, you know, because rain sometimes stops play, let's put it this way, some people might see rain as a hindrance, some people might see rain as a blessing. Spirit is saying it's your choice to look at the situation in the same way. Is it a hindrance for you at this time? Are you resisting that um, flow of what is happening for you at this time? Or are you embracing it? Because when we focus, darling, if you look at the situation, you know, in a way that when we focus on the pain, when we focus on the hurt, when we focus on um, the anger, we focus on all of those sort of things, um, we just suffer. It causes more and more suffering. But when we focus rather instead on what we're meant to remember, what's our soul meant to remember, what's our soul meant to resonate, what is the lesson in this, then we grow. And that's the rain. So it's a, is it a blessing or is it a hindrance? So have a look at what you could grow from from this, which is really, really lovely. And remember as well that forgiveness is understanding that none of this is personal. Everybody is doing the best they possibly can from the level of awareness that they're at, from the pain level that they're at, from the react, from whether they're reacting more or responding more to situations. None of it is personal. And, and if you can choose to look at it like that and to look at it that everybody's relationship is with themselves primarily, not with another, then you kind of release yourself from feeling hurt. Um, because that's that's a choice that you're making. And so that's also about clearing the past and, and healing the present and remembering that forgiveness is, you know, the greatest gift of self-love that you can give because you're forgiving for yourself to give yourself peace. You do have lots happening for you right now. Stop and look and see, write a list of all the amazing little things that have happened and the coincidences. They're all part of this of this support is all around you and it is spiritual support as well as fellow traveler support you are being shown signs um this time is necessary for you it's a time to refresh to renew as part of your journey my darling this amazing journey that you're on so i hope this has resonated with those that have come to this reading and i hope with those it has resonated with it's helped you at this time i look forward to doing uh, another reading for you tomorrow and in the meantime take care and have a very very lovely evening so much love my darlings bye bye